back up. Book able to get rid of the next pick off. Intercepted. Sack eight on the night for Miami. Hi, my name is Rachel Smith, and you're watching Dolphins Today, coming to you from Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami Gardens. The Dolphins remain on the road and now head to Tennessee, seeking their eighth straight victory. A win over the Titans would tie Miami's team record for the fourth longest win streak in team history. Before the team turns its attention to Tennessee, let's check in to see where its collective focus is ahead of this crucial matchup. Here's coach Brian Flores to Atunga Baloa and Javon Holland. It's, it's as normal a week as possible. You know, preparation is always at a, at a high level. Um, our effort, um, our communication, always trying to uh, be at the top of our game from that standpoint. You know, I think you know this week we've got a great challenge, and and, and the Titans, a well-coached team, a tough, a physical team, uh, really on all three sides of the ball. So you know, our preparation's got to be at a high level. Uh, they got a lot of good players. Um, really on, on both sides of the ball and, and in the kicking game. And, you know, this will be a big test for us. I think the belief's always been been in the locker room. It It's really just uh, the execution from, from all of us being able to play together. Uh, there'd be times where, you know, the, the defense plays really well and we got to pick it up on offense. We don't play as well as we should and vice versa. Um, or, you know, maybe something happens or, you know, penalties take a toll. Uh, on the game for us as a team. So, you know, we just weren't weren't playing uh, complimentary football, like we've been saying, uh, you know, the way that we're, we're kind of doing now. Everybody's excited to play the Titans, man. I mean, it's it's a big game. They're, you know, a really tough opponent, got great offense, defense, special teams. They're really well coached. Um, so, you know, this is what we do. You know, we play football, enjoy the time that we have. Just having a good time while doing it. Okay, fans, now we welcome our own Travis Wingfield on to discuss some X's and O's ahead of Miami's trip to Tennessee. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here at the stadium. It is. Okay, Travis, the Dolphins' offense has used a well-balanced attack against the Saints, but each matchup is different. This is the NFL, right? So what about this defense stands out that will pose challenges, and what will the Dolphins need to do to combat these? Yeah, a lot of the same challenges the Saints provided, actually, with a strong front. Jeffrey Simmons and Danico Autry and Bud Dupree and Harold Landry, they're a tough, great front that can really get after the quarterback. They've got fast, aggressive safeties that fly to the football. So maintaining efficiency and staying on schedule with a complementary style of football where you cut down some of the sacks, the penalties, the missed throws from the quarterback, the missed reads by the running backs, just limit the mistakes, and that can help the Dolphins find victory on Sunday. Here's some fun numbers. Miami leads the leagues in sacks with 45 this year, and Tennessee's Ryan Tannehill has been sacked 45 times. This is the second most among all quarterbacks this season. How key is this matchup on Sunday? Yeah, well, crazy stat, right? 45 sacks apiece, but the pressure has been really key for the Dolphins over the course of this run. That doesn't change here in this game with having 45 sacks for the Dolphins. The Tennessee Titans have allowed 45 sacks of their own, but Tannehill is good when the pocket caves, and he can escape and get out on the move, has a big, strong arm that can throw deep and out wide. He keeps plays alive, so pressuring him isn't going to be good enough. The defense has to get plenty of bodies to the party to help bring him down. For sure. Miami held on to New Orleans offense to 0 and 12 on third down conversions last Monday. How can the Dolphins maintain a similar success against a Titans offense that is tied for ninth across the league in this category? Yeah, I spoke to coach Brian Flores earlier this week and he talked about early down success putting you in position to win on third downs. That's going to be key for guys like Christian Wilkins and Zach to control this Titans running game, which even in Derrick Henry's absence, they still want to set up the play action passing game. This year, they average 8.7 8 yards per pass off of play action and just 6.2 without it, so keeping long down in distances can remove that play action pass potential. With a victory Sunday, the Dolphins can clutch consecutive winning seasons for the first time since a seven-year stretch from 1997 to 2003. What has stood out the most in this team's turnaround since starting 1-7? and seven? Yeah, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And trust the process and just continue to work with what Brian Flores and his coaching staff has preached all year long. They've done that, and it's kind of showed up. And we heard Tua on the ESPN Monday Night Countdown interview with Jeff Darlington saying that lots of guys are spending time together outside the facility, and that camaraderie has really paid off. So that's a big part of it. Offensive balance, passing game, running game, mixing it up on defense, and, of course, special teams. It's a three-phase game for the Dolphins every single Sunday. For sure, this definitely has been a fun week to watch. As always, Travis, thank you so much for joining us with your analysis. Sunday's game will certainly prove to be important as Miami's turnaround continues. 
before we let you go, Fence fans, we want to give you an in-depth look into Xavier Howard's appearance on Mike Up during Monday's victory in New Orleans. Check out the energy Miami's three-time Pro Bowler brought to the field. Ah! <laughs> them lights on now, them big lights now. Hey, it don't get no better than Monday night, man. Everybody around the world watching, boy. Yeah! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Monday hey, night. You yeah. can't beat this. Hey, it's Monday night. Yes, sir. You close to the crib. Man. I know the fam here. Yeah. That's Monday night. Monday night? Under the lights? Yeah. Here we go. You can't beat this. Mike, have a day, baby. Yes, sir. They cut the lights off. I'm scared, man. Hey, what 25 drink at? Nick. 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 Hey, that's my helmet. Get my. Good. What you Come on, Nick. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, right? Here they come. Book able to get rid of it. It's picked off. Nick Needham into the end zone for the pick six. Let's go. Everybody eats, B. Everybody eats, B. Watch the motion. Hey, babe. <laughs> what do you thought? <laughs> we about to try to throw it now. <laughs> I try to get that oh. tap. Got me like five tapping so far. You need five. I got five tapping. Oh, already? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Hell no. Get back, yeah. Oh yeah, big boy. Hey, Bun, Bun. Hey, bring the good shit, baby. Talk about Lolo loading up, and it is caught. Wow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's a catch. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Man, that's a catch, man. Come on. And now Duke Johnson, he's initiating the contact. Oh. Stop playing with him! Stop playing! Yeah, he gonna get some love over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh! Oh! That weak catch, you was out of bounds. You good? Yeah, you good? Watch the ball. He's but not. Hey! Uh-uh. It ain't getting no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey. We can't ease up. Loads and fires a wide out, and it's intercepted. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Hey! We have the game, boy. Brandon. I'm about Brandon. Got him one. I ain't know who you was. Hey, yeah, keep balling, boy. Hey. hey, keep balling, boy. Hey, yeah, yeah. Keep it up, bro. Hold it down. Hold it down over there. My boy! What's up, man? Good? Yeah, y'all smooth. How you been? <laughs> I got some beads. All right, that's a wrap for Dolphins today. Coming to you from the Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami Gardens. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye, y'all.